Chris, can we nerd it out just a little bit here and go through position yeah. group by position group for South Carolina? You tell me, better or worse than they were in 2023? Okay? okay, so we're looking ahead to 2024, and we're saying, you know, uh, this time next year, will we be saying this position group was better or worse than that group in 2023? Okay, so mm -hmm. do we start the year with them being better, yay or nay? Obviously, quarterbacks and no, but I'll mm -hmm. let I'll let you start it. Okay, so we'll do like quarterback, running back, receivers. That includes tight ends. Okay, mm -hmm. so receivers, pass catchers, offensive line. Defensive line, linebackers, secondary. What do you think? Let's go through it one by one. Better or mm -hmm. worse than 2023? Quarterback, I'll say no. I, I just think it's so disrespectful to Spencer Rattler to say that Lenora Sellers is going to do what he did and then some. I, I just I can't do that yet until I see it proven on the field. He's got the potential. I'm going to say no at quarterback right now. And that's after the season. Again, year one, you got to have realistic expectations. He doesn't have a all-star cast around him let's be honest I'll say no running back absolutely yes they're going to be better there's no question Rocket Sanders Oscar Attaway Juju McDowell is back they added that kid I think it's Jawan Howard from South Carolina State that room has been flipped receivers I'll say no I think losing even though Juice Wells didn't play you lose him you lose Xavier Leggett that's the big one again there's a lot of potential in the room Mark are you going to have another thousand yard receiver I don't think so could you end up being a better room in regards to like your top four or five guys? Maybe, but right now it's all unproven. I'll say no. Offensive line, Mark, they can't be worse. <laughs> they just <laughs> literally can't be worse. I'm going to say yes. And again, I, I think they've added a couple pieces. I think you bring back those young guys and Big Tree Babalade, and, and you know, you've got uh, Marky Anderson's going to come back from injury, Trovon Bo, Jatavia Shivers, and you add in guys like Cam Pringle and Josiah Thompson. They're going to be better. I'm not telling you they're going to be perfect but they're not going to be the worst offensive line of the SEC. I think they're going to average more than 85 yards per game rushing. At least I certainly hope so. Uh, defensive line, yeah, I think they'll be better. I do. I think they've added some power five talent up front. I do think Travian Robertson year two, I liked what he did in year one of his tenure in Columbia. Um, former Gamecock, obviously, I, a friend of our show, right? I had him on the show a couple of years ago, actually, and a great dude. And Glad he's in Columbia. I think the defensive line will take a step forward. Linebacker. Yes, I think they'll be better. I actually think they have, at minimum, brought in similar talent. I could see that group taking a step forward next year, right? For everything that Stone Blanton and Pup Howard were, uh, there's many things they were not. I think you get Mo Caba back from injury. Again, you added the kid from Pitt. You added the kid from Georgia Tech. You added a couple edge guys that can saw back and play a, play a linebacker position. So I think they'll be better at linebacker. And then secondary? Secondary is an interesting one, Mark. You get O'Don O'Donnell Fortin back. You're going to have to have a young guy step up at the other corner, I believe, because yes, Dial uh, Dial is gone. So you got to have somebody step up. You've got Nicky Minori back. You've got DQ Smith back. I think the secondary is going to be better, Mark, because I think the D line and linebackers are going to be better. I think they're going to do a better job of getting a pass rush, and I think the secondary just flat out underachieved for the majority of the season. Right? They came on late, but did not play up to their standard, up their up to their capabilities. So. From what it sounds like, Mark, I think South Carolina is going to be an improved team next year. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it does feel like they have flipped a couple position units, and um, they should take a step forward in a couple areas. Quarterback, I think, though, Mark, that's going to be the big one. That, that kind of determines what type of season you have. And I don't think Lenora Sellers has to be as good or better than Spencer Rattler was. It just can't be a huge drop-off. 